Hey crew, what is going down? Today I'm going to take you through how you can get your logo or any sort of overlay on a Facebook Live video. Now a few of you have seen my logo and the Self Master with Luke Pierce overlay on the Facebook Live videos and you said, hey, tell me your secrets. So this is how it is done. It's very, very simple. I'm going to take you through exactly the way that I know how to do it because I don't know any other way to do it. If you want to get super fancy with this, then you can get super fancy with this. If, if you just want to do it the way that I'm doing it, then obviously do whatever works for you. But let's jump into the actual Facebook side of things. So what you want to do is you want to come up to here and you want to type in facebook.com forward slash frames. That will then bring you to this page here. And obviously you can see these are the logos that I created in the past. Wow, look at that one. 2018. Man, that was a while ago. Okay, so this has been around for a long time. Now what you want to do is click on Open Frame Studio. Now I've already done that. And what that is going to do is it is going to... Well, let's, let's show you, right? It's going to start to open up the process. And it says, hey, create art that you can use in your photos and videos. And you click Get Started. Oh my goodness, then it takes you to the actual process of, well, this is the square video. If you want it on your profile, you can make that. So maybe you've got like an event coming up or maybe you've got a program. You could create this as an overlay on their actual profile pictures. And then that way, everything or whatever it is that you have on there, the overlay, your students can use that on their actual overlay. It's actually really smart. I might do that in the future. But what we want to do is click on Facebook camera. Now we see here, Facebook camera, you've got the portrait mode and you've also got the landscape mode. So now what we need to do, we need to understand if we're going to do the portrait mode, then we need to come over to upload artwork. And what this is going to allow us to do is pretty much drag and drop any anything that we want to have in the frame on the frame so obviously that there is just going to open up all the things that you want to do i'm actually going to stop that because i've got so this is the one that i want to put on there now notice one thing notice one thing notice how it's still got the actual white background in it because what i've actually done is i've put in a jpeg picture this is a format of an actual picture rather than a png you must use a png because a png is going to have a transparent background if i just use that right now then it would be very silly because that's all you would see so what we're going to do is we're going to delete that so that can bugger off we're going to go up to another tab and you're going to open up a tab called remove.bg this is a very, very powerful little website that you can obviously use to remove your background. Click upload image. This is an image that I want to turn into a PNG where I want to actually remove the background. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, that's pretty good. Now within this, you've got to be, you've got to be mindful, right? Within this, this actual photo, because the background was white, it's taken out the actual white of the the logo and obviously the white out of here look i'm not really that stressed about it because this is just the purpose of the demonstration but for yourself have a play around with it make sure you get what it is that you want if you can't get what it is you want then you'll have to create it you can you you can do that using canva or whatever it might be so let's try again see what happens so i'm going to go to downloads because that's where it just got so this is the png now and boom, notice how it is very different. So I'm going to put that probably about there. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, what you can do is you can come up to cooltext.com. This is a cool text generator. It's very, very powerful. And let's have a look. Let's go, what one do I want? I don't know. Let's just say this one here for the sake of it. And we'll put in self mastery. Okay, good. Happy days. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll create logo. I'm going to download. 
that'll download into the downloads folder again so I'll upload some more art bada bing bada boom that next one will be up there in 321 I'll take that and I want to move that so just notice you're gonna to have to play around with it okay so notice on this one here why is it different on that one? Oh, maybe we can move this can we I suppose you could put that down the bottom if you wanted to probably not the worst thing in the world so look, I mean, something like that doesn't actually look so bad. Like I said, with whatever it is that you want, you're going to have to play around with it because maybe you want a logo there, maybe you're writing down here, whatever it might be. And, you know, for the purpose of this, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm actually going to do it as Lou Pierce. And now I want to save this. Here we go. All right, so let's preview on a mobile. Lou Pierce is now the owner of the effect. Once you save this effect, you won't be able to change the owner. Okay, that's sweet. Preview on mobile, save as draft. So you can do all these sorts of different things. Make that as big or as little as you want. There you go. So middle of middle. Something like that. Go to next. Details. Uh, what's the name? So required details. Let's just put down Luke. Available anywhere. Make active right now. Keywords. No. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Once you submit. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, your frame has been published. Your frame will soon be available for people to use on their Facebook camera. Well, I tell you what, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And then it comes in here, and that's where you've got your all your stuff. So if we get out of this, go back to actual Facebook. Bloody hell, things are always going off. Now, if we go to... Actually, what I might do is I'll jump on my phone, and I'll see if it's actually on there all right so now if I go into Facebook click on live video type in whatever it is the post just for this context is going to be only for me I'm going to come down here to frames click on the little frame down the bottom and where is it I'll be around here somewhere there it is boom So I can click on go live now and obviously you see at the top is a logo down the bottom is the self mastery if I turn it sideways then it is also the opposite landscape mode of what it is that we created so there you go I hope that really helps out it's actually very very simple to be able to make and very quick you could do it within you know 10 minutes so check it out if you need any help then let me know.